Hello, artists and designers. Let's work on the identity deck cards and how to choose a color scheme. So as you can see in this previous semester, we selected a color scheme and we really worked with this uh, magenta and uh, dark, deep purple, a royal blue purple that determined the color of all of the the elements of the, the spades and the clubs and the kings and the queens and all of these uh, elements. So let's talk about the color for the cards and how to uh, select your color scheme. Uh, you're going to learn how to work with hex colors, use Pantone color schemes, work in a team to ensure the colors are unique, and use color palettes for print and web. So first of all, let's go to color.adobe.com. Color the link is here. We're going to collect, uh, select a color scheme for your card and your character and then add it to Creative Cloud. So here we go. I'm going to click on... Uh, that link it will take us to color.adobe.com. If you're logged in, you'll see your your icon here. I can see that my my face is there, so I know I'm logged in. But if you're not, you can uh, you can click on that and you can sign in, and that will be helpful because it will be able to track directly into Adobe. So um, I'm starting off as kind of this blank slate. This is a analogous color scheme. But what I can do is I can say, well, this color, I really don't want yellow. I'm going to start to think about the character that I have. I said that he's go she's going to be from Haiti, is 22 years old, is a runner and a biker, um, is wealthy, and uh, is an entrepreneur that's interested in energy and windmills um, for the recovery from the hurricanes. So I guess I'm going to start with just hurricane color blue um, and I'm gonna just jump right I could I could play with like let's go with monochromatic or a triad that's an interesting color set actually um, the complementary colors or compound you can move any of these around you could select one of these and move them around uh, you can work with shades um, but what we could do is select custom and that's what I'm actually going to uh, work with right now um, my themes, uh, I, I have my own themes uh, built into here. These are examples of the diversity color schemes that I developed. Uh, in the example that I have of my Inuit character, this is the color scheme that I had built. But there's a lot of other ones that um, are interesting. They, they work together. Uh, so that's basically what we're making right now. I'm going to go back to Create, and I'm going to select a color that matches the... Um, the Pantone, I need to find that Pantone of the character that I'm working from. And this is just an example, so you could actually have this, this character yourself. So it is um, this number, five, six, something, something, something. And I'll go over to here, and I will see that these are actually using color numbers. So I have to go into Photoshop. And I will make a new file, Command N. And this is just a, a quick file, so that's fine. I'll, I'll make it like that. Um, and I will go to my color right here, and I'll put my color number into it. That is the skin color of the character that I am working with. Uh, so the color of the character that's in the photo, the only thing that we're doing is getting the skin color from them, so that's it. So I'm going to um, hit M to make a rectangle, and G to dump. That is the color of my, of my character. I'm going to um, then go back to Adobe on the internet, which brings me back here. And uh, what we can do is we get this color number. So that's what I'm looking for. So I'm going to go back again to... Uh, the picker. I'll hit I. That's the picker. I can pick that, and I, I could have just gone back to here. Yeah. So, I guess that is the color number. Um, just kind of testing it out. In theory, I probably could have just put that number right into uh, Adobe. So, go ahead and put that right into there. Hit return. Nice. Okay. So that is the skin color of the character that I'm going to work with. She is an upper uh, class character who's an entrepreneur working in windmills. So now I'm going to find some colors that I think will match that. So maybe they're really earthy. I had said that they're very casual. Um, so if I want to adjust this to be uh, in a different 
zone. Did I keep that as my main number? Hit return. So that's that's my main color. Okay, good. This is actually turning out to be a really beautiful um, color scheme. This is a little bit too low contrast to be able to to work. So I'm gonna go. I'm gonna touch on that one and move this around until I find a color that kind of um, maybe we'll just really work with some blues. So blue green. Maybe it should be a lot lighter. Uh, so I'll kind of work with it until I feel like it's it's going to be an interesting color. So I like it. You can do things like switch these things around and uh, now I've got a color scheme that I think will be effective. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save it to my library within diversity and I'm going to call it instead of my color theme because they're going to all end up being color theme if I don't call it something different. I'm going to call it uh, windmill Entrepreneur, if I'm spelling it right. <laughs> okay, so um, you can enter tags. So wind, rain, hurricane. Those are um, tags that will, will help me to find it again. Uh, then I'll hit save. Theme is successfully added to diversity. So when I go into my themes now and I click on my diversity color theme, you can see that the windmill entrepreneur is there and that's pretty cool. So how are we going to use this uh, when we work into our project? Um, first of all, by going back to that create one, or maybe actually I should probably screenshot it at that point. Um, I would go command shift four to screenshot this color scheme. And that's what I'm going to bring into the, the spreadsheet. Um, I can also download that color scheme. And if I show it in my finder, um, it's an ASC file, which means that it's, it's something that we can uh, uh, bring in through the Adobe uh, methods. I'll show you that later. But this is basically creating the color scheme. And then when we're putting it into our uh, Google Slides, what we're doing is let me find that um, the slideshow. So the identity deck slideshow. Uh, I'm gonna click out so that I can get directly into it and click on open the editor. So you can see from my example here that this is actually, this right here is an image that came from my screenshot. So I could go to where my screenshot was in Photoshop and cancel that. And um, oops, go back to my slideshow and bring this into there. Um, I'll stretch it because the Pantone set got a little bit different, I think that's fine. So basically, uh, this character, Command X, Command Shift V, or Command V, she'll pop herself on top. This isn't my particular character, but you can see how I'm bringing the, uh, the color scheme into there. And these colors will be the things that will influence us in Animate. When I show you guys Animate, we will be able to take these exact colors, it will give us a color palette that we can use to, to work from. So. That's how you're going to uh, use Adobe Color, which is going to be fantastic as we bring it right into Animate. The color schemes will, will absolutely come in. I'll do a different uh, video for that. All right, thanks.